What is going on, lunatics? Uh, we dropped a zero, and cool. We had a nice little pump up to about three zeros, ten six. I want to say. Um, we'll see how this plays out. Should be some retracement right now. I haven't checked the charts yet. I'm going to surprise myself this morning. Either we're pumping or we're dumping. I don't think we're dumping because that's not the market that we're in anymore. We're going to break this down for you as best we can, as quickly as I can, to get you on with your day. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button on the way in. If you like me, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't like me, make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you can talk mad shit about me in the comment section every day and how I don't know what I'm talking about and how I don't know. We're not going to drop a zero. We're not going to. It's dead, dude. It's just, just because it's we're not gonna we're we're not dropping a zero remember all those comments down there yeah the dum dums guess what you should subscribe you should subscribe to me too haha <laughs> let's kick it off all right guys so 18 percent in seven days is that a big deal no first of all this happened the the burns that we're talking about happened at the worst possible time the election was coming up there was profit taking along the way there were reasons for this thing not to pump at the moment that the burns came through of course everybody was waiting everybody had it all pegged and figured out around the uh, the October 31st when it was supposed to burn so now we have a problem here tiny problem and that is we didn't get the real bang for our buck off of that burn in the short term but that's okay because what we've also seen is uh once ranked number 400 coinbase is now ranked number 33 in apps on the app store which means retail is returning back to crypto they know it and that's going to be a very very cool thing so um let's talk about what this means so 18 percent over the last seven days is it actually breaking out that's the question that we have right here uh, at the time of writing when they did this article it was trading at four zeros 99.81 so it slipped back under uh let's go check that out now uh we're looking at four zeros 99.46 so let's kind of break down what is going on right here we're going to move to the hourly time frame so that we can get an idea of what happened so from impulse move to the top what we're going to do is we're going to draw a little fib right here and it looks like we've wicked down we've done our move into the golden zone twice now on the hourly and it looks like we've bounced successfully off of the 50 twice which would be an indication that we're about to start testing that high one more time so that high came in at three zeros ten nine fifty eight not ten six so uh that would mean that we are probably on the way to test it again so we're getting a successful test. Now, the question right now is there is, of course, a fast sort of resistance right there um, on this uh, on this move. Now, that would mean a, a tiny bit of consolidation, I want to say. Let's look at Bollinger Bands to get an idea here. Are we tightening up or are we uh, not really tightening up? We had a little tightness right there and then it broke to the upside. Um, maybe we're start. Maybe we can make an argument. There's a little consolidation starting to happen there, and if there is, then that would mean that we should have a successful move. Now, um, uh, it should be noted that we have successfully tested the exact levels that I I constantly tell you what is going to happen. Right uh, in a long term basis, uh, we may wick down to a seven eight six off of this fib retracement. Right, so we went up to the top, then we came down and we tested the three two, came back up to the two three six, came all the way down, did a deep 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 correct of test down here breaking the 618 halfway into the 786 and then boom beautiful retest back to the 236 which established a resistance line which of course caused a move back into the golden zone and then a pump back out of the golden zone to the 382 of course the resistance line and then we have this move right here so now i would expect the next move would be a move up into this sort of range right here and then we see if we can consolidate and break out of that and if we do that sideways action Another big test, and then boom, a breakout towards that top. Now, this is a good week. There's good news coming out for uh, the markets for the week. Donald Trump is the president, so um, uh, or the president-elect, I should say. So um, pro-crypto, we're looking at uh, early signs that he is about to clean house on a, a lot of government uh, positions here, especially anti-crypto positions i think that we're in this cut right now where we are ready for an explosive move for the entire market and it's just going to take one powder keg to explode before we go into the next big rally donald trump has won the 2024 election crypto is about to go 
go parabolic and you don't have enough crypto. That's where Cryptonomy.finance comes in. You can stake your crypto. We've got about nine months before the big part of the bull market is really kicking off. So this is your last opportunity, your final opportunity to set yourself up a long-term fixed staking plan. And guys, you're going to want to have some Tron, some XRP, some Ethereum, some Bitcoin, some of whatever it is that you like. Right now is the best time to take advantage of the opportunity to accumulate desired assets. And there's over 800 tokens available for staking where you can earn up to 180% APY. Also, for me, there is a competition happening right now in which I could win a prize by referring you guys over. I'm going to make another Tron deposit today because I've told you before, I think Justin is going to be one of the goats in this industry. Folks, one of my high confidence plays is Tron. I'm putting 2,600 Tron into a nine-month staking protocol with a yield of 71.8%. That's going to give me about four to 5,000 Tron by the time this is done. All right, guys, my Tron is set up. I am ready to go. This bull market is getting ready to happen. As we approach the end of the year, Crypto is going to be hosting numerous giveaways, just like in previous years. It's become a tradition. Uh, you can... Uh, You've got Halloween prizes, you've got Christmas prizes, and you've got newsletters that will allow you to see exactly what's going on. Don't forget the important part, in my opinion, and that is the launch pool. We've created multiple contracts over here. We're not creating a new one today, but as you can see from the returns that we're getting over here, they're getting significant multipliers with every investment for the launch pool. So make sure that you sign up for the launch pool today. It should be noted here, guys, that we are having a significant rally so far. Uh, altcoins, um, it, at one point, altcoins were breaking out. Bitcoin now up to 82,000. So uh, continuation of this seems most likely. So I would suspect that we're going to have that test right there. Now, the, the question is when we zoom out to the longer time frames and what we're going to do before that. So we get rid of this for the purpose of that impulse move. And we're going to get rid of that right there. And we're going to go back to the daily where we're going to get a, a better idea of what the next move is. And um, I would suspect that on the longer time frame, on this longer time frame, since we had this test down here and we wicked off and started the reversal, it looks like we're breaking out. Now, if we break out, then expect a move into 17 to 1800. This is this 3016 to 301867 as the next impulse move. Expect to see something like that happening over the next little while. Why? Well, volume is up over 100 million, meaning that there's going to be a lot of burns coming from Binance. If we can maintain this level of enthusiasm for a short period of time, it's going to be significant burns. You know how I know? Because over here on USTC, we're also getting about 100 million in trade volume. Now, uh, we are down in market cap 5.85%. Um, I, I would not put too much into that. I wouldn't think too much on that. Um, in, in this context, there is a little bit of a dip here from that 26 range. Um, it, but it ultimately, I, I think that everybody's kind of in sort of a state of disbelief on whether or not all of this will really happen. Okay, so that's why I think that we haven't really pumped super, super hard yet. But as we get more information from Ceramic on the burns, then we'll probably get uh, a nice little rip. Now, as far as meme coins and everything goes, um, over here you can see uh, sitting at, you know, no, just not really much of a change over here. The, the meme coin space hasn't done a whole lot, but I'm going to show you something real interesting. And if you don't have any right now, you're going to look like what the French would call a big dum dum. So, um, yeah. Anyway, um, surely this can't happen. Uh, and this guy's pointing out, hey, you know, we've got this kind of descending line over here that we are breaking out of. And it would be fair to say that we are breaking out of it. But again, sideways movement is what's happening right now. So um, I, I would expect I, I would expect something to happen very, very soon. But this is the important part right here. This is the Lunk Burn Tracker. If you're not following it, you should be following it. It's at Lunk Metrics. This is the one that we use over here all of the time to, to calculate our burns. And if you come down here it'll tell you cat with hat burned 248 million uh cat with hat was down here again 11 million look um terra casino is burning a significant supply of the cat with hat meme coin and if you guys have not gotten yourself one yet cat with hat right now trading at about 90 bucks um I remember i put in 50 so i put in 50 for all of these so it is now up 80 percent it was up about 200 percent at one point so this is just a little bit of a retracement 
And again, we get a little vibrancy in this ecosystem. This thing will absolutely explode and it'd be super cool to see happen. But um, uh, we're getting a lot of that burn. But along the way here, um, if you come and look at the total amount of burns, if I come over here to stake bin, look at this yesterday, 165.7 million uh, was burned yesterday. Now look, normally 22, 24, 29, 34, 28, today so far 26. That was a significant amount of burn yesterday. And we're now at uh, 251,795,000,000 over the last seven days, which would uh, include that number and the big burn that happened from um, Terraform Labs. Now, this would be the indication that more is coming pretty soon in my estimation. So um, I would be watching for a something big to happen over there. Commonwealth, there's nothing really going on. Terra Casino, if you're looking for a place in order to play games, risk-based gaming, uh, they're still giving away 2 million euros. Guys, you've got to sign up. There's a link in the description down below. It's almost foolish at this point because just because they give away free money and you don't have to bet a whole lot of money. Uh, I mean, guys, when I point this out, $5 bet, 11 cent bet, 60 cent bet, a dollar bet. You know, these guys are, are wagering small amounts just to try to, uh, to get involved. And look, you could win up to 2 million and you can use almost all of your favorite crypto. So check it out today. As far as um, uh, meme coins and everything go, Terraport.finance is your place to be. And guys, by the way, uh, just had its highest successful trade volume in the course of 24 hours um, so far. So uh, guys, look, you got to be involved. Now, uh, again, everything is locked for staking except for the the 14 day. So we're going to claim that we're going to upscale, if you will, just a little bit. And as far as the launch pad goes, uh, at Selenium, we have 8,348 on average. Now, you know, I have 10,700. So I'm just waiting for it to average out. And then we'll start trying to earn just a little bit over here. And uh, we'll see what happens. You know what I mean? Like, we'll, we'll see what happens. If we get a, a little bit of a burn over here, we burn a little bit. We're going to uh, get 250 points. Uh, if we're going to hold more than 1 million B Lunk, you're going to get 200 points, a stake more than 1 million in liquid staking uh that's a million that's gonna be 250 points there's plenty of different things that you can do there's weekly earns right here burn at least 1500 tokens of terra buy at least a thousand terra there's plenty of different opportunities over here for you to get just a few points complete some weekly quests stuff like that and then there's burn 250 tokens you can do that i guess daily maybe see how that works out uh but burn some terra earn some uh, selenium and uh, the white papers right here if you want to check that out and that's it guys trying to keep this a little bit uh, 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 a little bit more specific to what we got going on right now which is the burns ceramic should have another proposal out this is just kind of a bridge until we get a little bit more information that more information should be coming out any day now and uh, we'll report it to you first and uh, by the way start looking around in the ecosystem you'll notice people who don't make videos are suddenly making videos again they're seeing what's happening here so uh you might see a little bit of a revival over the next little while of terra luna classic it's not financial advice but i'm always right